Dear CG Thinkers, welcome. My name is Rudy. I've been developing Fluent since Blender 2.79 and today we are releasing version 3 of Fluent to coincide with the release of Blender 4. What's new, what's improved, what's changed, we have to present the key points of this update. In terms of compatibility, you will not be able to use realizations made with earlier versions of Fluent. Important structural changes mean that objects created in version 3 are not structured in the same way as those in the previous version. As far as Blender is concerned, Fluent 3 is only compatible with Blender 4. I had been waiting to achieve this effect for years, and you had been asking me about it for just as long. So why only now? Because I've finally uh, figured out how to achieve this effect in non-destructive way. To take advantage of this new effect, well, it's the same as always. Create, um, create a new cut and use this new button. It works in the same way as the other adjustments of this type in Fluent. You can use either the menu or keyboard shortcuts. Special care has been taken to ensure that this new adjustment fit in perfectly with the Fluent environment and all the other adjustments. I hope you will like it. It opens up a whole new world of possibilities. You've been asking for this uh, for a long time. Uh, I have been dreaming of it for just as long. We can finally add and adjust different bevels at the top and bottom. And all this, of course, in keeping in the philosophy of non-destructive work. In terms of use, nothing changes. You simply have access to a few extra buttons in the menu to adjust both top and bottom. Top only or bottom only? I confess I'm not unhappy with the first two changes between the chamfer and the second bevel, as they open up so many new possibilities. Slice Cleaner is a feature that allows you to remove faces that are unnecessary because they are invisible. These are the internal faces of your object that are created during slice operations. This feature is used on an object to which modifiers have been applied. Select the object, press the F key and in the toolbox you will find the Slice Cleaner function. You can see that the inner faces have been removed, which will lighten your final model. It fits into all the completion tools already available in Fluent. A new feature arrives in the side panel. It's more for fun than to help you to model. This feature automatically creates an animation that shows the process of making your object. For the example, I'm making a simple object consisting simply of a slice and a few cuts. Once the object is finished, I select the highest object in the hierarchy. In other words, the first object created. You should also be aware that the animation will start where you placed the cursor on the timeline. So, if you want to start on frame 1, place the cursor there. Then go to the side panel and click on the Animation Builder button. All that's left to do is play the animation to see the object being built. Let me clarify before you ask. This only works for objects 
that have been created with Fluent. I'm not a soothsayer, it's because the object was built with Fluent that I'm able to understand how it was built and create the animation accordingly. So there's no point in trying it on anything else. In the spirit of why didn't we think of that before, I present the keyboard shortcut for editing front objects. It's true that this button, which is probably one of the most frequently used, didn't have its own keyboard shortcut. Now it does, and you can adjust the shortcut in the preferences. The default shortcut is Ctrl Alt F. A new parameter added at the last minute following a request on Discord, the pin loop parameter allows you to fix the cloth more or less from the edge. By default, and always, I use the value 2. But typically, if you want uh, the object to hang exactly on the edges, you need to set the parameter to 1. Just so you understand the effect of the parameter, I will give you a test with a value of 5. A new grid has been added, bringing the number of available grids to 14. For the name, as you may have guessed, I follow the letters of the Greek alphabet. The latest addition is called ETA. And if you're wondering why Greek letters, my answer is 1. Try to try and find the name for the grid. And 2. Why not? This is simply information purposes. Because I know there are a few people who like to look at things in detail and might uh, well ask what's going on. Two elements have been modernized. In other words, they are still there with the same parameters, but they have been rebuilt using more up-to-date methods. The two elements that have had a facelift are the chain and the duct pattern for the cable. As with every update, there's also been a good batch of bug fixes and a number of other minor improvements. I will let you check the full list on the documentation website. When I think about it, it hurts my, my heart uh, to say it like that because I've spent a lot of time on it, but clearly in a video, you don't care. That's it for the new features and I will finish with a few miscellaneous bits of information. First of all, a big thank you to the beta testers who have been on it for months. It's thanks to them that the add-on is stable on release. Besides, between the changes with Blender and those with Fluent, I'm still very attentive to your feedback and if you find any bugs, please let me know in the Discord so I can quickly fix them. General news also includes the release of a new version of Materializer. Again, if you are a Blender 4 user, you should appreciate the change. I won't tell you more. And finally, you will have noticed that videos have become much more frequent recently. I have set myself a few goals in terms of publication frequency. So don't hesitate to subscribe to make sure you don't miss out. Thank you all for your support in keeping the adventure going. See you soon. Bye bye.